Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Har Habayit number 41, A History of Historical Mistakes in Judaism. There are many times where there's raging debates among the Jewish people, and only after decades, centuries go by, we look back, we see, wow, what a mistake. How do we do that? But if we were in the middle of it, we would be making the same mistake as they did. So let's go back a few thousand years. We're in the Midbar together. Ten giants. The Siam tell us this is not the time to go to Israel. And they have reasons. Very convincing. Might be telling us that we could learn in the Midbar. So much bittles man when you go into Israel. To deal with an army, enemies, planting. Hashem protects us here. Our clothing don't even get worn out. Tell us to plant, take care of the food. It's all here. This is a magical life. We need to keep building up Am Yisrael. We just got the Torah. We need to become really solid with a Torah. I always talk to my boys in Rashi, the Shana Ben, another year to develop. And then you go back to America, to England, go to university. Oh, build, build. So here, we just received the Torah. Let's have a few more years in the Midbar. And then we'll go. And yes, Hashem said to go to Israel, but at the right time, we have no question. Klal Yisrael was very convinced of the Moraglim. No, only Yoshua and Kali uh, it went against them, and the majority said, this is it. And they stayed in the Midbar. You would look back and say, oh my gosh, what kind of mistake. You move a few years ahead of that. We're in Israel already. Then we're kicked out, tragically. Yirmiyahu says, we're going to go back in 70 years. 70 years we'll be back. And Ezra, 70 years later, he's there, rebuilding with Nehemiah. And who comes? 40,000 people. And not 40,000 Gedolim. The Gemara, Sar Yuchsin and Kedushin makes it clear these people are not the cream of the crop. But they were simple Jews that came back. The cream of the crop, where were they? They were in Bavo. Let's say we were in Bavo during that time. What would be going on? I imagine. We have to build up Torah in Bavo. We just started to build the Torah communities here. We need to really develop them. We need to develop the Bavli, Shas Bavli. There's so much work to be done here. Ah, Yirmiyahu said 70 years. It's true. Well, you have people going back. So the Migdis is getting started by the people. Eh, they're not the greatest people, but they'll get started. And after we do what we need to do, there's holy work to be done here. And then we'll, we'll make it over there. And the majority of people went for it. And you look back, what kind of mistake? Historical mistake. You move a few uh, thousand years up. And you come to... Uh, not even a few thousand. You move to 1100s, the Rambam's era. Everyone's screaming about the Mona Vukha and the guys are perplexed. The Rambam, Mishnah Torah, the work is going to go ahead and eclipse Shas. Burn his farm, get rid of his farm. And what 12th base Medrash, what Yeshiva in the world is not going to have the Rambam? The holy, holy Rambam, an anchor of the Shulchan Aruch. The people were in the midst of the debate on the Rambam. Oy, 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 oy. And yes, Rabinion afterwards did Shuva, he went to his grave and different stories, but in the midst of the Machlokas. And then you look back in history and you realize, wow. So the fact is, we're human beings, Klai Yisrael is human beings, and we make mistakes. But when we're in the midst of it, it's hard to see. Hard to see that in another 10 years, 100 years, 500 years, your view is going to be looked at as crazy, as off. What were you thinking? Of course, the challenge is to be able to be in the midst of a raging issue and not fall prey to a very improper view. Yetz Hashem, in the part two of the historical mistakes, will continue and analyze it and apply it to Har Habayit Shalom.